This schedule is pretty much automated. In the drawing file, when you place a diffuser, there's only two fields that need to be manually entered, the room number and the throw. Everything else loads automatically. Now the uppercase are shared parameters. The lower case are the data fields as they appear in the family. So over here we look, take a look at this diffuser and you can see you got to add a room number, throw, and your arrows. Now when you tag these, the tag automatically includes the throw pattern. Briefly on tags. The least amount of characters to convey the necessary information, the type, the size, and the flow. No CD1, no dashes, and the reason I do this is because when you start annotating a complicated drawing with a lot of stuff, real estate for tags becomes a premium. And uh, I just copied what manufacturers do in their data uh, fields in their catalogs. All right, I'm going to show you how to set these up. Um, I'm just going to walk you through it. I'm not going to do one. It takes too long. So I'll begin. To create that Titus TSMA, I started with the base file of the out of the box supply diffuser rectangular faced round neck. The one that I uh, changed the insert point on and uh, edited those butt ugly flow arrows. And then I saved it out as my base family. Now there's some fields in he in here. Let me restate that. There aren't some fields in here that you're going to need. Let me show you. First of all, notice there's no lower case mark field in here. I added one here and if you run across a situation like that you're going to create that field right here and this mark field is a type because it applies to a specific diffuser a surface mounted then you insert your shared parameter for mark and make it equal to the lowercase mark and you input your information here. Now, shared, or I'm sorry, instances and type. An instance applies to all of the families, all of the types, and I've made a surface and lay in for all of the sizes, okay? So, they're all going to be sealing diffusers, an instance. They're all going to be made and manu the manufactured and type is all going to be Titus TSMA, an instance. They're all going to be three combed, instance. They're all going to be finished in white, instance. Frame type is, frame is a type. Let me go over here and look. Type because it applies only to surface mounted. Uh, what else? I think that about covers it. Oh, I tried to input when I when I loaded these shared parameters up, I tried to put them all in the identity data field. Okay? Uh, if we look at this, you'll see that I chose identity data field. I believe I even chose 
I don't know why that one wound up. Oh, it did wind up in text. Well, I don't want that there. Much better. Okay, here we are back at the schedules. Here's my data field. Now the size, the flow, and the material, you can load straight out of your selection over here with no modifications. All the rest of them are loaded through shared parameters. Separation and sorting. I've got them sorted by room number. Now let's take a look at it. Mark, room number, and throw. That way it keeps them together like this. So at a glance for a particular room number, you can see exactly what's required. you also notice that instead of manufacturer and model number I have selection based on. And the reason I do that is because in the spec there's going to be more than one manufacturer listed. Titus, Kruger, those are the only two I can think of off the top of my head. So it's selection based on. If they want to substitute another manufacturer, they have to meet this criteria. And that just about covers it. All right, this is the tag family. Now you can use the stock out of the box diffuser tag, whatever they call it, and just edit it. I delete everything there and start over. So let's take a look at what we got here. These are the fields. These are stock, came right out of the selection over here. These, of course, are shared parameters that you're going to have to add, just like you did for the diffuser family. You're going to want to add a break at the end of the flow so that the throw doesn't crowd up into the, uh, into the rest of it. Um, flow. You want to get rid of the CFM, just uncheck that and go to none. I do that because it's, it's just unnecessary characters that take up more space. Anything else? Oh, a little explanation here. I tried adding a separate field for the throw so that you'd had another box down here. What happened was when it was used in the drawing file, if there was no throw, you wound up with a question mark. So it all it is, has to be combined all into one text field. I think that covers it.